Dimelang Sambanani, hello South Africa. A very warm welcome to Expressions. This is definitely the place for you to air your views. Today is the most important event in the calendar of the 2021 Basic Education. Today we are going to be finding out the results for the 2021 matrix. And I know for a lot of you out there, it's a very anxious time and an anxious period. But as Expressions, we are on ground to make sure that we bring to you everything that you need to know about this particular issue. We're going to be speaking to key players, various stakeholders, and making sure that you have the right information when it comes to this very pivotal day of the matric calendar for 2021. I'm your host, Jacqueline Mapala. And I'm Olisi Masang, Sinbing and Sinamgele, we expressions. And of course, as Uzagwete has just said, we're coming to you from the M1 studios in Auckland Park, Kunala, ASABC, where we're talking and reflecting on the year that was for the class of 20. 2021 who sat through the National Senior Certificate. We're going to be taking you to Soweto as well as visiting Ibrainston as we talk to young people who sat for the exams as well as touch base with Ikosas wanting to find out on the call what we're talking about on the show. We're also catching up with the standoff between the Department of Basic Education and AFI Forum as a contentious issue was of course the publication of the results of the class of 2021 on media platforms. That's what we're talking about today and we encourage you to participate in Goodland's Eters of Kumana. Shall we go in, Jackie? Let's go in, let's of go course. in. Okay, fresh year, and we all know that this comes with a certain level of anxiety and excitement for the classes of matric of the previous year, which is why I'm trying to see like the group SOA to where we're touching base, no mundo mosha, to find out Ugutingabe Yeno expectani ahead of the release of the matric results of the class of 2021. How does he feel about the stopping of the publishing of our matric results on all public platforms? This conversation is going to be interesting. Let's meet him. Sibing and Laskomgelo Helweni Unati, it's great to have you. I'm a result as of Puma soon. How are you feeling, Ogamanj? I'm feeling a bit nervous. Yeah, well. We had a lot of challenge since I'm a Since then, there was a COVID, there was a low shading. So, like, you had to fight every day. you in school, you have to come back to school, clean clean the house and cook and rest and wake up over the food to so like I expect the best yeah well since from a hard waking yeah I mean because we are as in the Bali I'm a challenges are cool I'm a cool that low book and a business now but we'll map and how did you deal with them doing my metric last year salanum chi chalana c2 so like she was on substance abuse yeah well so like I had to go to manage many of my challenges. As in a bang and back, back to a little party. So and I have to study mm -hmm. and they all smoke their thing. Yeah, well. mm -hmm. So like I'm totally enough time to study and do my things. Yeah, well. So that's a challenge because So like I have to go to manage even a self consoling. Yeah, well. Then I'm kick her out. Jungo must stand while I cry. Sometimes so I guess kulumenga ma plans are koge oguti maungka to tola ma results um o pleno wenza. I'm planning to continue study. Like yeah. I've applied the varsity, then nago all my applications in Zanzibar. So like I want to continue with study. So oguti wage because of the Protection of Personal Information Act. Pekelezi, e popia, to our results and gege manja sa publisher. 
kuma public platforms afana na man newspapers wekwenzo zizwe njani leyo into le every time all under my results bo alande sikolo yena ngithi but no ukumetric it's different now ya bo so uya ungazi ukuthi uphasile or uphasang if they were like be wa publish abo zoya esikoleni was ukuthi okay ngihambe kanjani so now you don't know yeah yeah true say yona maka like somewhere somehow it could yeah bo to other people privacy yakho like ukwazi ukuthi sikonsola i1 umuntu angabona ngokuthi like uhambe kanjani nani nani banga judge ukwazi ukhamba kahle strategy well actually thank you for your time man and we wish you all the best and we'll be catching up with you yeah nazo hi Shab shab. So straight from the other side of town, which was in Soweto, straight to, you know, uh, Brownstone in Johannesburg, where we're touching base with Nicole Hughes around conversations that we're having about the metric class of 2021. It's great to have you on the show. Welcome. Thank you for having me. So look, we are having conversations around uh, the scrapping of the publishing of AMA results, AMA metrics on public platforms. What's your take on this and what do you think about it? I think it's very unfair that um, the results are no longer being published on newspaper and also not receiving them via SMSs because um, as the metric learners, you are not the same. Probably, for example, if I know that, okay, I did well my results, other people don't know that I did well. So for the fact that we're going to fetch our statements only to see our results, it's putting pressure on us because you get to school, see others being happy, and when you see your results, you're going to be, oh my God, I did not do well. But you're seeing your fellow candidates, they they um, happy and all that. So it's putting a lot of pressure on us. I want to know from you, I will culminate about my challenges or our face a worst busy writing metric. Um, I would say studying. Sometimes studying is very, very hard because there are many, many distractions like your phone, social media, and all that type of thing. So studying was hard, but as a person, you just had to um, prioritize your things, know that this is what I want, this is what I'm aiming for, so that you're going to study better. I guess Kulube is supportable in your Nicole um, during the matric year. I can say that it was not easy as a single parent, but then I had the um, support of my sisters, my mothers. So, and I knew that uh, she's a great student because as I was with her, teaching her, preparing her, she was, you know, picking up in, in being interested in, in being in grade 12 and also writing. So everything was just smooth and great. Way to from here, let's talk about your plans. You get your metric results, what, what do you want to do? I want to study either law or business management um, at either UJ or the University of Advertisement. Natasha, why do you guys still want metric results to be published? Thank you so much for having me. Yes, I think it's important. It's a two-way street that we're looking at. Firstly, um, with regard to the Poppy Act, which is the reason why the department is saying that they did not want to publish the metric results. Um, we say that it's not a contravention of someone's uh, personal information if only the examination number is published in the newspapers and on media platforms. And secondly, because it motivates students, you know, if they see their results in the papers and they can celebrate that with those whom they choose to share their examination number with. So let me get this clear, you guys just want the publication of exam numbers, not the names. Yes, as it has been done in the, the for the past couple of years, I know when I was in matric we had our surnames and our names published, but now it's only the examination numbers, which is to protect those people who did not pass, who did not, did not do as well as they hoped to do. Natasha Venter, Manager for Education at AFRI Forum, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Your call to have um, the publication of Amametric results scrapped has finally come to flourishing. How are you guys feeling? Um, firstly, greetings to you and the viewers. Uh, we're very happy with the decision that the department has taken. It has been a long call that we have taken since 2013. It is a call that has been long overdue. People's privacy must be respected at all times. As much as we respect um, 
people people's HIV status, it should be the same thing that happens because Olena starts grade grade R and they collect their results in school, same as metric. You go throughout the year, you study alone, there's no newspaper, there's no online system that is actually helping you. It's just you and the people that are around you that are helping you on a daily basis to make it a point that you pass your metric. So the only people that should be able to see those results is the learner that has written the metric, which is the candidate of, 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 of the Department of Education. I guess Kulu a notion got 30%. Um, I know you at some point described it as stupid. Please talk to us about that. You can't be accepted anywhere with a 30%. 30% is called two. That means out of 70, that means out of 100% of the work that you do in school, you're expected to only know 30% of the work and the other 70% is not important. So that means the department does not really take us serious. That means they don't want to see a black child strive. They don't want to see a black child su succeed because you can't enter anywhere with, with a 30% um, pass rate. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, thank you very much. Well, there you have it, Mundumucho. We continue with the sole important discussion as we wanting to find out, Uguti, should the scrapping of the publication of metric results on public platforms be uh, given the green light? It has been given the green light, but what do you think about it? What do you have to say about it? Do you interact with us? This is Expressions. We're back after this. activity here at the M1 studios but right now I am sitting with the MSc of Education in the Free State uh, Mr. Pula Mahoe who is very proud and probably glooming like he's on top of the world because he is representing the best performing province in terms of the 2021 metric results. A very warm well welcome to the show Mr. MSc. <laughs> I think for the viewers, go high. Um, tell tell them what you were saying while the, while while the minister was up on stage because it's the third year in a row where you are the top performing province. No, na reba juwe sa ori Christa te tsela tu. Wasi wesa kata ata kia si borono in the past province arona ne nyasiwa. People were thinking that we can't grow beyond a certain point. Jula reprove ile in the free state or no. Um, if you work hard, if the are together, uh, if by another commitment, uh, we should be able to achieve what everybody else can achieve. I mean, the fact that our free state, we don't have the same budget like uh, your other provinces. I mean, one budget, in terms of performance. So we are very, very happy, and I'm very, very proud of my teacher Aruna because one of the things I can tell you, having about Shebe Zebanaba, but I will do it already. In the free state, the colony can have for seven days. Because this year, the Rebaruta grade 11 and grade 12 in one year. And therefore, children understood to climb by Eskolon from Monday to, sat to Sunday. And I was, Kokoakwa Omu was saying to me, that you know, I don't even need clothes because my uniform is sufficient. Because we are getting a uniform from Monday to Sunday. So we're very, very happy with, with, with that kind of uh, um, outcome. So it's, it's a very What would you say then is your secret to, to success? Well, secret here, um, every time I get one, every time I get my number one, I'm a secret. <laughs> I don't even know about whether anything has come to say it. But what do we do, Rona, in our province? We ensure that uh, we mobilize society, support education. Banamarona, uh, but people like Pastor Sizu, Pamuti, a very strong program here, QLTC, Quality Learning and Teaching Campaign. My teacher, Lebona, I motivate. Come and tell me, we are number one, Rona. It's number two. Lebona, we are going to have a number one, number two. I was motivated to grade 11 because when I was sometimes, I was able to know grade 12, it was like grade 10, grade 10, 11, and 12. And you can't only be serious of it without grade 12. You have to be serious, in fact, from grade R. I was able to say that I was able to 
in grade 10, 11 and 12. Arts have been a little bit of a happy this coming year, but uh, we want to know what are the plans uh, moving forward, but I think most importantly just words of inspiration to all the young people who are coming from the Free State. Just a word from the MEC. Next year, we will be able to get a little bit of a happy day. Be ready. Uh, you are simply the best. Keep it up. It can be done. It must be done. You are the best and you can make the difference. Thank you. Uh, so right now we're going to be having a conversation with the Deputy Minister of Basic Education, Dr. Regina Mahaule. A very warm welcome to Expressions. It's good to have you back again on the show. Thank you so much and I really appreciate to be part of this show. A show that uh, comprises young people. I know that the listeners and the viewers are young people. So when I'm sitting here, I am a young person myself because I was once young in any way. Thank you. No, absolutely. I mean, today is such a big day, um, the announcement of the 2021 metric results. But our poll question that we're asking uh, young people go high is simply this. Should the metric results be scrapped or published on public platform? I mean, what, what is your position on, on this particular issue? It's not easy to give a personal position because some learners would want the results to be published and some would not. Remember, we always uh, develop acts that will protect people. Now we have this new age, the Protection of Personal Information Act. And when we look at that act, now it has to be implemented. And it means when we publish the results of learners with their names, then you are t taking out personal information to the public. Why didn't the department actually defend the verdict? The department could not defend the verdict because initially the department had already taken a decision that now that there's this popia, let's abide by it. Then other people took us to court. We had meetings with them, the information regulator. We had a meeting with them, they said no. Let's protect the personal in, in information. So it was going to be difficult for the department to go back to them and say, now let's challenge the verdict because the verdict is in line with what they were saying. And remember, uh, this is a new act, uh, the implementation. Well, there are no case studies, there's nothing, and uh, this has constituted a case study moving forward. Yeah. And we know, Jorge, COVID is not going to leave us anytime soon. We want to find out um, what, what are the strategies, what are the plans that will be on the ground, especially when it comes to online learning, and how will you be specifically targeting and assisting, especially young people who are living in rural areas? Uh, E-learning and uh, online learning is the way to go moving forward. So it's something that as a department, including stakeholders, we must work together to make sure that a rural child benefits. So we are not working alone, we have partners. They have their own e-learning, which does not cost a cent. And as a department also, we have our own app website where we have put every curriculum. And that one is also accessible to learners in the rural areas. We are going to strengthen and get more partners and work closely with the Department of Communication to make sure that even all our schools must be connected. When they go home, that's where the, the challenge is. But it's a work that we're working with municipalities, with the Department of Cocta as a department. But issues of ESCOM, we did discuss with ESCOM. We do hold meetings with ESCOM. If we, we have electricity, things become becomes easy for everyone, every way. In, in closing, uh, Deputy Minister, I mean, um, the class of the matric class of 2021, they've done exceptionally well under very unprecedented uh, circumstances and situations with COVID-19. What would you like to say to them? Uh, as South Africans in general, we need to learn that COVID-19 is here to stay with us. No one knows exactly when it is, is it going to end. So we are saying to our learners, let's go to school. Let's keep, let's respect all the health protocols of COVID-19. In 2020, it was terrible, but 2021, it was much easier. So 2022 is going to be very easy for us to live with COVID-19. And of course, as uh, expressions, we wanted to say to the to matric class of 2021 on your performance, you've done us so, so proud. And you've heard that obviously from the deputy minister as well as the MEC. But we'll be back right after this. Stay with us.
Well, welcome back to the program. We continue with very important conversations. Now, at the back of the announcement of the uh, metric results for the class of 2021, we're now catching up with one of the top achievers for mathematics, Ombendulo, in the Eastern Cape. Congratulations. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm very, very happy. This is like a dream coming through for me. Uh, I've never thought I would make it to the National Awards. And I'd like to thank my teachers for pushing me hard, making sure that I study and make it to the National Awards. Thank you. Um, here's a young person, top achiever. He's achieved his first in the province. But one of the questions that we also ask is around support. He's a young man that wants to do something. He wants to get into medicine. How are we making sure that he's getting the support that he needs? We are going to support him financially and otherwise to ensure that we, he, he himself contribute into the shortage of the doctors that uh, we have in the country in general and also in the province in particular. So we're putting it on record today, MEC, that this young man will pursue his dream of becoming a doctor. Yes, yes he's going to, to pursue the, that dream of being a doctor, of course, uh, with the support of the provincial government. So you're excited? I'm very, very excited. Okay. As you say, I think it's a good thing now that Indota Nayako has achieved so well. I think it's a good thing. 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 And all the way from Toyando, joining us as one of the top achievers. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. What was your secret recipe? I was doing a lot of e-school uh, in the internet. I got support from other programs which I was part of, which really helped me. Got support from my teachers. They were helping me th through WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so clearly we're seeing uh, modern learning coming in the form of the internet as well as WhatsApp. So what's the way forward from here? What's next for you? So I'll be studying uh, computer engineering and electrical at the University of Cape Town. Top achiever for the year 2021, Uldrich Leroux joins us now on the show. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm very excited. It was quite unexpected to get the award, but I'm super happy about it and excited for what the year has held in for me. Let's talk to your mom now and find out what support did you give Uldrich when preparing for his exams? I try to have a um, very quiet, restful atmosphere at home. Um, I try to have him get enough sleep um, and spend enough time preparing and also have some exercise. Where to from here? What's next? What's going to happen? Uh, so this year I'm starting studying at Salamos University and the course is actuarial science. Also all the way from Limpopo is Gift. Limpopo Ngati, you know, has done well and you guys have slowly started climbing up even though my statistics were sure otherwise. Talk to me about your support structure. Did you have any form of support from friends, family, parents? Yes, I have a lot actually back from home. Uh, people are screaming like they're very happy for me. Were they just as supportive when you were writing? Yes, they were. All right. Yeah. So what's so what what are you going to do now that you've completed your metric? Well, I am going to do my degree uh, of becoming an engineer. Yes. At, All at, right. Where? Well, at UJ probably. Yeah. All right. That was my first option. All right. Also coming up tops of the class of 2021 is Kenzani from Etsuane. Welcome and congratulations. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was your secret through studying, through the pressure here last year? Because we're kind of in COVID. I know some of the, your peers as well. But in Abona, they had a secret recipe. I want to know what was yours. It has to be discipline. Mm. Yeah, because like, yeah, when I, if I could not discipline, I could not motivate that kind of motivate and don't and don't. I got to if it discipline, I go. If I was telling you to fun, you can't get pressure in the soul. So yes, discipline. Where to from here for you? I guess University of Cape Town or UJ, I don't know. What do you want to study? Accounting sciences. All right, and we wish you all the best. Thank you. So Mko, we've come to the end of today's episode and I think it's expressions more than anything else. We just want to congratulate the matric class of 2021. And of course, to those who have not performed really well, hopefully some of the information that we provided you on today's show will actually help you just so that your future is a little bit brighter and you feel a little bit more empowered. Right, Mko? It's certainly not the end of the world. There's a second chance for Nina Bangi who didn't do well and you see expressions and Kukuzela to get up and go for it again. 
again. Well, from all of us here at Expressions, thank you so much for participating in Good Lens of Kumana. Until next time, Nsalegal. Adios, muchachos. Bye. Thank you.